All right, so it's Monday, the uh, the 1th of June. And I haven't done an update in a long time because I've just been really, really busy. But uh, there are some things to talk about here. Uh, mostly really good. Uh, maybe a little bit of bad, but mostly really good. Um, one thing I can say is that I've done almost no maintenance on this. The, the, the improvements I did have really held up really well. I've had zero leaks. I've had no problem with the pump. I, I spend almost no time on this. I have to put in a little bit of water, not very much, because it's not leaking, and I have to feed my fish, and uh, that's about it. Um, put in some seeds uh, after my last update, and here less than a month later, I'm already eating these radishes, so there were more of them a little while ago. Uh, tomatoes coming up, uh, beans really doing well, uh, broccoli coming up. The basil, so many things are different from last year. The basil took over the darn thing last year. Now this one is just barely struggling. Now I know that has a lot to do with uh, the, the nitrogen supply, but uh, this is kind of funny. Uh, also, fish-wise, I have a bluegill in here that I got from the local pond. You can get a good shot of him. Um, I can't get him. Yeah, you know, last year I used the goldfish to get my biofilter up and running and they didn't survive so well and I wasn't going to eat them anyway. It seemed kind of icky. So I went to the pond and cut myself a, a bluegill and put them in here to get my my biofilter going. And he's pretty happy. There's a shadow so you can't see him. He'll actually eat worms out of my hand which is kind of cool. Uh, but he seems to like it in there. Um, I also put up, I know this is funny looking, but I hung this umbrella uh, for two reasons. One, to give him a little shade, because I suspect that this metal tank is very reflective and probably gets hotter than the old plastic one. It's also got a wider uh, mouth, so there, there's less shade anyway. Another thing about the silver tank is I think it reflects the sunlight, which causes the algae growth to get pretty fierce. And I have had to clean out the algae a couple of times. Um, I think once I get tilapia living in here, that'll probably decrease because they are they they are vegetarian. You know, they'll, well, they're omnivores and they'll eat the they'll eat the algae. Um, I added these valves here. They cost like 64 cents a piece, and that allows me to regulate the the downflow out of my uh, out of my grow beds. And that that has been a real a real time saver. And, you know, I just got them adjusted to where I like them, to where, you know, I get maximum amount of, you know, where the water stays in the grow beds for the maximum amount of time, so the nutrients get to the plants, but, you know, I can make it so that they drain completely in time for the next flush, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I also added a valve here, just to kind of, let's see if I can get a better shot. Um, I already had this valve that controls the flow to that little shower, but I didn't have a valve to control the flow up to the top tank. And now that I've made the pump submergible, I, the, the added pressure was making the system run way too fast. So I had to put that in there to regulate the flow up to the top tank. Speaking of the top tank, I did get my lettuce in about a week and a half ago, and it's sprouting. Uh, you'll notice that some of these have sprouts and some do not. That's because I want to rotate it. That's doing really well. But boy, do I have algae this year. I didn't have algae problems at all last year. And the only variable besides the weather I can think of is that I did have some crawdads up here occasionally, but crawdads I always thought were mostly carnivores. I don't know that they were real algae eaters. So, you know, I had some snails too, but I don't know. I, I, maybe it was a couple of little snails, but we all know now that snails are kind of a no-no. So I'm not sure what's, what's causing this added algae explosion. Uh, ironically enough, the one place I'm not getting algae is in the timer. No algae growth at all. It's just clear as a bell. But even the grow beds are getting kind of a tinge of green. So uh, maybe when I get the tilapia in there, which will hopefully be within the next week or two, and my ammonia seems to be pretty stable. Uh, but hopefully that'll cut that down. Um, but everything is running really well. I put almost no time into this thing now. I've got it pretty well dialed in and uh, I just feed the fish and leave it alone. Okay, where's the fish? Say goodbye to the fish. Bye bye fish!